Hey, welcome to Mobile Gaming News, where we discuss mobile gaming news. For Final Fantasy fans whose fantasy has been to finally play Final Fantasy on your phone, I have fantastic news. Square Enix, the Japanese video game conglomerate responsible for the Final Fantasy franchise, there's a lot of alliteration happening here, has announced that two new Final Fantasy games are coming out on mobile. Final Fantasy VII, The First Soldier, a battle royale experience set in Midgar, is set to release toward the end of 2021. And Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, a single player game spanning the whole Final Fantasy VII series, is planned for 2022. I have a friend who will be very excited about this. Although personally, I'm gonna wait for the Apple Watch version before I, before I finally get into Final Fantasy. The screen on a smartwatch, it's too small for video games. It won't be a good experience. That was a, that was a joke, I was joking. More, more, more Battle Royale news. Is that allowed? Can we do that? No, we can't. Let's just do it. PUBG and Krafton have announced the upcoming release of PUBG New State, and pre-registrations are already open. By the way, if you register, apparently you can get a limited vehicle skin. Is that, does that appeal to you? Is that something you want? Do you, would you like that? Here's what Krafton says about the premise. PUBG New State is set in 2051, where, of course, they didn't say of course, I'm saying of course, where anarchy rules as numerous factions battle each other. I could have told you that based on the logo alone. Anytime you see spray paint in the logo of a game, it is a dystopian future and anarchy rules. Between now and 2051 or 2077 or 2049, something is going to happen. And then anarchy. Movies and games, they know. They're always right. Invest in anarchy is what I'm trying to say. Anarchy for your health. <laughs> This is ridiculous. This last story makes me feel depressed and sad and old. Pokemon is now 25 years old, and people like Logan Paul are reliving the nostalgia by opening rare first edition hollow foil Charizard cards. Not that I not that I know about that or care deeply about that, of course. Who, who cares? I don't care. For you young whippersnappers watching who think Pokemon is something you play on your phone or your Switch, no. Well, yes, but maybe no. You're an old man. The original Pokemon came out on February 27th, 1996 on the Game Boy. What's a Game Boy? Back in my day, we didn't have no fancy telephone games. We had cartridges and tiny screens. Uh, right. <coughs> Ow. The big milestone saw a 45% increase in downloads of Pokemon Go and in-app purchases went up nearly 100%. What better time than now to fall down a hill and land in some poison ivy because you were trying to catch a Snorlax. Did that happen to you? Maybe. Okay, that's it for mobile gaming news. This time, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't do it. So you don't miss out. I, I wouldn't. On the next one. Bye.